So touchscreen technology hasn't changed a whole lot since the iPhone came out, but there are some new small companies trying to come out with more innovative technology that could soon come to touchscreens. So this is an older Android tablet, but it has some very new technology in it. It's made by a company called Senseg. They're based in Finland. Um, and what it does is it adds a layer of natural textures on the touchscreen. Um, there are some components inside, some electronics, some stuff on the actual screen, some coding that enable this. This thing is literally taped together, so it's obviously not for sale, um, won't be for sale for a, a while, but this is just something that the company put together to show what, it, what they can do. So here you can see a bunch of different surfaces, and the texture actually feels different. Like this one here feels really bumpy, small little bumps. Here I can actually feel ridges, like the little lines that you see. This one is a little bit kind of scratchy, I guess. And again, I can feel the ridges between these. There isn't actually anything on the surface of this touch screen. Uh, what the technology does is it manipulates an electrostatic force between your finger and the screen. And so it feels like my, my finger is touching something, but it's not. It's just attracting my finger to it. Um, it doesn't zap you though, so no worries about electrical shock. There was a lot of hype about this technology coming out in the latest iPad, and obviously that didn't happen. But the company says this is coming to tablets, most likely in late 2012 or early 2013. And uh, their business model is basically just selling the technology to tablet makers. So they're not going to come out with a Senseg branded tablet. Um, so are people going to like this? Well, a lot of that is going to depend on which tablets this comes out in and also what kind of applications come out utilizing this technology. There were some earlier attempts at adding some tactile feedback to touch screens, uh, like Research in Motion's earlier um, touch screen BlackBerry, and that did not go over so well. Um, but, you know, this is clearly a new innovation in touch screen technology. Are people going to like it? Are they going to take to it? Well, we'll see.